Jutting out of Spain's sun-drenched Mediterranean coast is Cape Palos, an idyllic outcrop in the Azure Sea that is home to rich ecosystems thriving thanks to environmental protection programs. Under the watchful gaze of the Spanish government and the European Union, the Cape Palos Hormigas Island Marine Reserve has become a veritable paradise on Earth. The recovery of broad fields of Neptune grass has encouraged a revitalized ecosystem to develop in the tranquil waters. Take a boat out to the deeper areas, plunge in, and you will find a treasure trove of creatures lurking amid rocks and shipwrecks and floating through the hazy waters. Huge groupers roam close to the ground, slow beside the shoals of glimmering fish that mottle the blue. Jellyfish gracefully billow in the currents, their soft colors catching the light. Eels poke their heads out from their holes, disturbed and surprised by the sudden company. Diving is an important business on the Cape. Locals take visitors out on the water and use it as a chance to educate on the importance of marine conservation. The marine reserve sits just a stone's throw away from the Mar Menor, a lagoon popular with tourists that has been heavily scarred by urbanization and the agricultural industry. Running between the Mediterranean and the Mar Menor is La Manga, a sandspit cluttered with hotels and holiday apartments that is in sharp decline due to ecological problems in the lagoon. As animals have fled from its waters, which are regularly plagued by algae and jellyfish, beachgoers have started staying away. Today, construction projects on La Manga lie abandoned and the landscape is littered with the skeletons of empty buildings. The world is brighter just two kilometers down the coast, in Calblanque, a natural park that serves as a beacon for ecologists. It is here, among craggy mountains and peaceful sandy shores, that botanical experts have managed to coax Venetian juniper trees to grow, the only such specimens on continental Europe. They give hope that with work and compassion, the damage humans have done can be reversed and nature will thrive again.